Hey guys. Hello guys. All right, so here's the deal. I have French toast sticks tonight. I am doing a full box. Uh, it's just syrup, butter, and powdered sugar. And I have my, my shakes <laughs> today. My face is killing me, so I had a bad day at work and I decided to treat myself to a pizza pie. Got a, I tried a different place today, it was all right. So I don't have much of an appetite. And um, I wasn't craving anything until I saw Kaki's plate. I'm gonna let her show you guys what she's got going on. I didn't make anything spectacular. But yeah, well, it looks really good. <laughs> I made some tequila lime chicken, and then a Southwest salad. And then I have some guacamole. guacamole, obviously. And then, I don't know, I picked up Quest chips. I don't know if I'm gonna use them, but we'll see. What's up, John? Hello, Annette. Hello, John. Hello, Annette. You know what? Funny story about the bag salad she's doing tonight. Um, it is uh, Southwest salad. They used to make, they probably still do. But when I first wanted to start losing weight, I used to get the, it was a barbecue ranch bag style. Uh, oh, yeah, they still have that. Yeah. And I started eating that for my dinner. This is this is years, years ago. ago. This is before. This is even before I actually hit the three hundred pound mark. But um, <laughs> I, I started eating a bag of salad, and I would add like cheese and, and a couple of other things. That salad was was so good that I kept on thinking of ways to make it better. So it okay. went from just adding cheese to adding Pringles to adding combos to adding cashews. To add in corn, and before you know it, <laughs> this low calorie salad was no longer low turned calorie. Turned into a, a complete garbage salad. It's only it's only right to have, have a shot of tequila with that. Yeah, no, I don't like tequila, <clears throat> and that I don't. I'm not a fan. So of why tequila. are you calling it tequila? Because that's the marinade. It is to kill a lime. It's to kill a lime. But like it says tequila lime sauce at the bottom. Gotcha. So, but it actually is really good. I tried it before. It smells a little funky. It smells a little strong. But when you taste it, like on the food, it actually tastes really good. So. Well, you go and dig in. Don't wait for me. No, I am digging in. I'm starving. I'm not. Now. I'm not rushing anything uh, tonight. I'm. I'm not worried about not finishing these. These are. There's only 20 of them here. So, and once I taste sugar, mm -hmm. it's like, I don't get full, you know, when it comes to something like this. It was gonna be pancakes, and I had a pancake idea, but the grocery store didn't have a certain ingredient that I mm -hmm. needed to do this. So that's just gonna have to wait till next week, because I'm not doing two breakfast meals in a row. But my first time melting light butter, and it doesn't look like light butter, it's like, <laughs> it looks almost like a cream sauce. Well, because it's like butter. Mm -hmm. It's not real butter. Well, it tastes like it. That's all that matters. How are you doing tonight, uh, tonight, Annette? Anything, yeah, how are you feeling, girl? Anything fun and exciting going on? <clears throat> that cricket. Uh, Kaki found it. Or somebody found it. No. I thought I found it. And hey, he Trish. said, that's not a cricket. Like she found that's right. She found a little bug and she goes, I think I found the cricket. Like, I, I think that's, that's it. I literally, you guys had to see what I did today. I literally came home and I literally searched every like nook and cranny of that back corner because that's where it is. It's back there somewhere. I searched the whole freaking thing where the sliding glass door goes. I searched everything. I can't find this son of a bitch. I can't find him anywhere. Uh, Trisha said hello. Hello, Trish. Hey, John, girl. Do you guys like pumpkin spice hostess? is coming out with a pumpkin spice treat. Oh, I love pumpkin spice in that. I'm the pumpkin spice girl. I love the pumpkin spice. Yeah, they usually come up with like the pumpkin spice, um, like the, um, like this, those rolls. Um, the strawberry shortcake rolls. Yeah, they come out with the, um, the pumpkin spice ones and they come out with a couple of other things. I, I'm not crazy about it pumpkin anything i like pumpkin pie during like thanksgiving but um i don't go to i don't mess around with pumpkin much he doesn't go pumpkin crazy like i do 
Yeah. I'm more of an apple pie guy. I love apple pie. Nice, nice hot apple pie out, out the oven with some um, whipped cream and ice cream. Either or. A nice tall glass of milk. Can't go wrong with that. Mm. The cook that made you crazy last night until you knew what it was? Yeah. That sucker's really high pitched and he's loud. Mm. That's why I'm thinking he's small. He's small and I was searching everywhere. I can't find him. You, you, this is the time of the of the year where, like I was, I went, I went to the grocery, I went to the grocery store the other day, and it was pumpkin everything, everywhere. I'm like, oh, it's not starts. even pumpkin that. It's just like even Halloween candies out. <laughs> it's that, it's well, freaking I, August. I was guys. gonna say it's this. August. Well, we're about to be in September, but it's you walk into any store and it feels like Halloween already. It's like, oh, this is like the biggest sign that summer's over. How is the cricket doing? Did you make it a little house? House in a bed? No. I'm trying to find him so he can get evicted. <laughs> He's getting evicted when I find him. I, as I said last night, I didn't hear him. I, I, the only thing I hear out of this year is like ringing. So it didn't bother me. Uh, Target. Target already has Christmas decor? Yeah, I'm sure well, I haven't do. been to Target. I, I'll go to, I'm probably going to go to Target. Actually, I won't go to Target this week. Actually, we are going to Target this weekend. Yeah, we have to. Uh, it might not be a cricket. It might be a... a... cicada? I don't think so. There's nowhere for a cicada to hide in here where I won't find it. Yeah. Cicadas are big. Yeah, I was going to say, they're like those little fat beetles. Oh, right? they're big. There's no way. Yeah, eviction notice. Uh-huh, no. He's going to be evicted and squished on site. We, our old apartment, we had a big cricket a uh, couple of nights in a row. Do you remember that? Yes. When the central air stopped working and we were like, I just, I looked like a sweaty dog on camera trying to eat, trying to be comfortable. And it just, I was like all red in the face and sweaty. And then there was crickets in the background. It was so loud. Wow, I'm happy I didn't, he I didn't hear it because that would have bugged the shit it out of me. It was so loud. And I hear it all the freaking time. Yeah. I hear it during the day when you're not here. Mm. I hear it all the damn time. And it was funny because like, you were sitting in the kitchen and your mom and dad were down here. Yeah. I'm like, do you hear that? The damn cricket, I can't find the effing thing. And then your mom's like, oh yeah, there's a cricket. And says to your dad, he's like, where? I'm like, I don't know, I've been searching. Mm. And he like kind of looked like, he's like, they're not gonna climb. I'm yeah. like, what do you mean they're not gonna climb? Yeah, well, where? Could, they are gonna climb. It could be in one of the cabinets too. Like where the toaster is? No, I don't think so. It sounds like it's coming from up there somewhere. I don't know. I haven't heard it tonight yet. Maybe he's freaked out. Maybe he knows I'm going to squish him when I see him. Yeah. Maybe he's keeping quiet. I don't know. Hey, Trish, did you ever... I'm happy you're in here. Did yeah, you, it was so loud. It was loud. Did you ever decide on whether or not you're going to take a trip out to go get those buffalo garlic knots? <laughs> hey, Chrissy Power. What's happening? Hello, Chrissy. She said that, that was pretty deep. She didn't know if she was going to go. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's worth it. I'll make a deal with you. Next time me and Khaki go to New York City, um, we'll bring you some. Does, like that, the... does that sound like... If, if you want to try them that bit, yeah. therefore you don't have to come all the way out this way. Do you like the hide behind the fridge? Yeah, that, yeah it's could not be behind, behind the fridge. The fridge. There's no way because it comes from that back corner. If it was behind the fridge, it would be over here on this side. Yeah, can't believe we're talking about crickets this much. <sighs> well, it's freaking annoying. You can't hear it. <laughs> no, I can't. Listen, I would rather hear a cricket than be deaf. Maybe, Maybe in, in the fall. fall. Okay. Well, I don't know when we're coming out to the city. We could be in the city as early as um, late September. Maybe mid-September. We're due for a city trip, yeah, we're but I think I it. think what we were gonna I think the plan is because I told you guys about that pizza place I wanted to go um, in uh, Connecticut, Wooster Street. So I think we might trade in a city trip for a Connecticut, Connecticut trip, trip, stay in Connecticut for a night. Yeah, just, we were only there one time. I just feel like uh, you you know there's so much to do in New York City. So much walking around to do, and then Connecticut, it's gonna be like, oh, you got to take an Uber here, you got, you know what I mean? And we don't really do much anyway. Yeah. But still, walking around the city is always nice. But if we find like a place by like that pizza place to stay, like that would be cool. Like we just walk there. We could do that, yeah. Uh, that sounds fun. 
We'll see. We'll see. We're we, we're well over. I can't even. Tell we're you. long when over. When did now. we? When was our last New York City trip? How? We, we, was it was uh, still cold out, wasn't it? It was like just starting to get nice. I want to say it was like the beat, maybe March, maybe. Yeah, I, I I feel like it's March. March or April? Maybe it was April, cause March. I know we went to North Carolina. Yeah. So maybe it was April. They're gonna open a crumble cookie in my neighborhood. Maybe I could bring you guys cookies Cookies for an exchange. Even even exchange. That just sounds grand, (laughs) Trisha. That sounds delicious. We bring buffalo nuts, you bring crumble cookie. I get swap. We get dollar pizza. And then we get to see you again, so Mm -hmm. that's a plus. I feel like that would be awesome. All right, I'm gonna go let TikTok in, and then you didn't start that yet, huh? I was starting, but. No big deal. I don't eat fast. You didn't eat it all. I had some. Uh, it's good. It's, <laughs> it's good. Yeah. Let's see. What is tomorrow Wednesday? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think of something fun to do. I'm wondering if I should do that baked potato idea I had going on. <laughs> oh man, got the burpees. Oh no, not the burpees. I also might not drink any of the juice and then go get milk. Let's see if I need it. Mm. I was thinking about doing, for the video tonight, doing a milk pour instead of the juice pour. But milk sitting out gets warm, so I don't think I'm going to do that. What's up, Johnny Bees? How are you doing oh, tonight? Oh, hello, brother? Johnny. How are you doing, man? I have been on such a roll with like creative dinners, and tonight, as I was saying before, just not feeling it at all. Not feeling even that hungry. Plus, when I open my mouth to take big bites, my face hurts. So I, I, I feel like I broke my face. What's up, Crash? I tried milk with ice. It was not bad. I liked it. I guess I wouldn't even notice the difference if I did that crash because I drink through a straw anyway. Yeah, you wouldn't notice. What's up, uh, Joanka? Am I saying that right or is it Iwanka? Hello, guys. Joanka. Joanka. Hello, Joanka. Hello, Michael. Hello, Michael. You know, when we stayed in the city, I remember one time we didn't have a fridge, so I put milk, I put ice in the, uh, I, I, I got like the, uh, the yuhus, but it was milk, and I put it in the the champagne bucket with ice to keep it cold for my midnight snack. I'm almost, I'm always thinking when it comes when it comes to stuff like that. Even even during Hurricane Sandy, I did the same thing. Milk for the midnight snack. Love y'all's vibe. Thank you, Aaron. Appreciate oh, that. Thank you, Aaron. Pancakes or waffles? Neither. These are French toast sticks. Oh, man. Ma'am, how does it feel to be married to the coolest guy on earth? It feels great. That's oh, very nice of you. Feels great. Uh, Thank you for asking. I love it that some of you guys think I'm cool. I'm definitely not. Hello, Mickey. How you doing, girl? Hello, nice. Marie. Thank you, Lacey. Hello, how are you? Hello, Marie. Marie, how are you feeling? Yeah. You, hey, you know what, Marie? I I want to apologize. Last night when we when we left off, and you said you were still in the hospital, I didn't even know you were in the hospital. I must have not have been. I must have missed um, your, your, your the a comment of you saying you're in the hospital. Hello, Linda. Jamie, loving the headband. Well, Thank hello, you, Linda. Mickey. Hello, Rose. Hello, Rose. Are you home? Or are you She's still in the hospital? I'm in the. Oh, geez. how are you feeling? Hello, Maureen. Hi, Sandy. Hello, Pamela. I get it if you don't want to say why you're in there. If you just shoot me a message. Uh, sure, you know. tell me why she's in there. Oh, okay. Well, I don't make it public if she didn't share well, it. Well, I'm not going to share it on here unless she wants to share it. She can, but... Uh, what's up, guys? Breakfast at night? Yeah, I had pizza for lunch today because my face is broken and I wanted to help the pain in in any way I could. Plus work was really bad today. Do you have a little appetite because of what happened to you yesterday? You mentioned you may were going to finish doing it. Annette, I have a little appetite because yeah, my face hurts a lot. 
And I had pizza for lunch today. And you find out tomorrow if you broke your hip. Okay. That's right. I do remember you saying that. Okay. My memory is just bad. Yeah, and then it's, it's a little bit of uh, work was really bad today. It, it just it sucked. And then that combined with my face hurting, I threw the towel and I said, I'm getting myself a pizza. And I'm going to drive around with the pizza for an hour and just, <laughs> and, 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 you know, having a, a, a screw it kind of day. Did you fall? Uh, Noreen, no, I, I um, rolled into a bench playing with my kids at the park yesterday. I got asked just now, what is the... What is this life? Positive or negative? I choose positive. Well, guess what? You have the right to choose positive or negative. And I always choose positive. Whenever I step into a situation, I try to look the positive side of something, not the negative one. Yeah. I mean, life's... Li I thought you were talking about this. Yep, hurt face equals dessert equals dessert pizza. pizza. <laughs> I always listen. Regardless of the situation, and when I do treat myself to a pizza during the day, as much as I'm loving it when I'm eating it, I regret it immediately after because it just screws up the rest of the way I did the rest of the day and how I feel. I got asked to rate the live positive or negative because I updated the app. Oh, okay. I see. Oh. I understand what you got. What's your favorite food to cook? I like making sandwiches or creating anything that's different. Hello, Liddy. Oh, hello, Ricky. Came by to show some love. Now back to cleaning the house. Well, thank you. Thank you for taking the time out to show some love. We appreciate it. Thank you. Comfort food. I wish. I wish the whole me Hello, hitting. Hello, Liddy Lou. I wish the whole hitting. Hello, Molly. I wish the whole me hitting my face uh, yesterday Lisa. happened during the weekend, so <laughs> at least I could just, you know, soak my pain in extra cookies and pizza. Cookies and pizza. And then I could just, you know, put something on and take a, take a snooze. You're very welcome. I appreciate that, Ricky. <clears throat> What do you do while you're cleaning the house? You listen to a podcast? You listen to music? My mom used to listen to Cher or Celine Dion or Heart. When I clean. Over and over. When I clean, I like to listen to Adele. Yes, Lisa. <laughs> I'm so damn high right now. I don't, I don't, I can't sleep. Mm. You can't sleep. Oh, you don't. Oh. Okay, they got you on some meds. So what are you doing to kill the time? All right, let's get well, into she's these. Here. No, I, but yes, I know that. But we're not going to be with her all night. I mean, do you have stuff that you're watching or doing? Crossword puzzles. I, I, you know, everybody's different. Everybody has different hobbies. What am I eating? So I have a Southwest salad with tequila lime chicken. I know it's very bright. I'm sorry. The chicken's really good. What's and up, then I Jimmy? have some guacamole. And then I have some fresh chips, which I think I'm going to open. Just to give some crunch to my salad. Hello, Sarah. I appreciate the wrestling entrance that got me hooked on your style. Thank you. I mean, khaki. Yeah, I know what you meant. You know what? A lot of times, whenever anybody goes to type khaki, autocorrect turns it to Jackie. So anytime I see Jackie in there, I know you're talking about me. So I get it. It's autocorrect. It screws everybody up. It happens to me all the time. I did not bring anything with me and I can't crochet. crochet because I can't sit straight. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm so sorry, girl. <clears throat> Hopefully you get to go home soon. Can you do a custom headband? For you? Like you wanna buy one off of me? Depends. What kind of what kind of headband are you looking for? I'm a I'm a wizard at at, uh, at arts and crafts. <laughs> I really am. Yes, you are. I'm taking the rest of the week off with making any new headbands just to give my uh let my creative juices build up. <clears throat> <clears throat> what kind of headband are you interested in? Oh, yes, I need one with my wrestling logo. 
shoot me a message. Shoot me a, shoot, shoot me a message and, um, you know, I'll tell you, I'll let you know if I could do it. Mm -mm. Why do we watch you eat dinner every night? I don't well, know, Vicky. It's only if you want to. You don't have to stay. Yeah. Um, the people that, you know, do sit here and watch us. Some you people, know, some, we have good conversation. We have a good time. Some people eat dinner with us or eat breakfast with mm -hmm. us and are actually interested in what we have to say. Now, I'll be the first one to tell you there are plenty of nights where we don't got a whole lot to say and it's kind of just me and Kaki bickering back and forth. Mm -hmm. Not usually, but um, it does happen. It's a mukbang. Well, I wouldn't say that. It's just us eating dinner. Is that <clears throat> French toast? Yes, French toast. Mm -hmm. Hello, Spirit Seeker. Hello, Spirit Seeker. Hello again. Done? How's the face today? Laura, it hurts. It hurts. Jamie, can you draw? Can you draw good? Only asking because of your creative personality. Mickey, I haven't drawn anything in a long time. I used to enjoy it. I wouldn't say I'm an artist. Like, uh... Yeah, I went drawing something. Hi, Ruthie. Not my strong suit. Hello, Ruthie. I'm more good with... I'm, I, I don't even know what to say. You're better with I, doing what? Like, I can, I can draw okay, but nothing that, like, if, for instance, if you asked me to draw Sonic, you would get the idea that it's Sonic, but it wouldn't look like Sonic. Hello, Beth. Hello, Beth. Hello, Melanie. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that, Melanie. Oh, I'm very sorry to hear that. Hello, Christy. My condolences to you. I'm very sorry. That's terrible. Uh, so does Kaki cook before or after you? We kind of cook at the same time. But usually her meal's done. And hers is keeping warm while we're doing my part. Yeah. Usually. What's up, Jason? It's a team effort. We have... Um, you know, Kaki will usually help me get five to six edits, like uh, clips for me clips. to edit. And then while I'm editing, she's working on whatever she's eating. And then when it's time for me to get another shot for a part of the video, she stops what she's doing. And then she films me and helps me do what I'm doing. And then she goes back to doing whatever part of her dinner she needs to do. It's a lot of multitasking. There's a, listen, there's a lot that goes on uh, because the way we go about this is whatever you see me eating live is the video you're getting on TikTok. And I usually put out two to three food videos a night and then we eat live. Yeah. So it's a lot to do. It, it's There's always something to do unless it's a night like, a, a, unless it's a night like tonight where... I've got nothing in me. I'm tired. I'm hurting. And I just want to... Yeah, tonight was an easy night. Tonight was a very easy night because we didn't do... I didn't do much. I dropped French toast sticks out of a box. Jamie's oh, thank you, Michael. You guys make a great team. God bless you. Thank you. I couldn't do it without her. Jamie's pizza necklace is everything. Yeah. I love this thing. Yes, it is. Thank you, Ruthie. Thank you very much. I'm hoping, I'm hoping number one, I feel better tomorrow. Uh, I then, hope so too. You really should have iced it when you came home today. Kaggy, I nice was, that to you. I got home late. I know. And I just, I didn't want to. You could have thrown a bag of vegetables on your face. It wouldn't have taken long. Yeah. And it might have held. Thank you, Molly. Thank you, Tyson. I appreciate that. Uh, Kaki, someone asked a question. I would be interested, and I see it says Kaki. Would be interesting to see my cooking? Deborah, you want to see my cooking? I would film her, and I would mm -hmm. even edit it for her so she could do it, but... Yeah, it's that's it's a lot. Because half the time, my cooking is done before Jamie's even home. 
It's true. Kaki usually gets started when I'm running. I usually, I'm like the Energizer Bunny. I come down, I shower, I usually try to have the setup done. And then once I come down, it's just like boom, 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 prep time for me. My yeah. prep time. And then once Jamie comes down, it's his time to do like his prep time and that stuff. So like, it's kind of hard for like me to do like a, I used to post pictures. I don't get paid to eat, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> I used to post pictures to Instagram. I haven't done that in so long. Maybe I should start doing that. Maybe I'll start posting pictures back to Instagram. Hello, Deborah. Hi, Kagan. Thank you, Lisa. And yeah. Maybe, I don't know. I'll figure out how to somehow finagle something for maybe TikTok. But I don't want my TikTok to be about food, to be honest. Ian, <clears throat> I do not get paid to eat. Wouldn't that be the job? Can you imagine? I mean, I get it. Some people do. But I'm not one of them. We're not one of them. I love you both. Thank you, whoever said that. I don't know that. Oh, thank you, Lisa. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, breakfast for dinner tonight. Sweet headband. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hello, Stephanie. Hello, Stephanie. You would think all, you would think all I do on social media with the editing, with the running, with the eating, with the lives, this is, it's almost like it's another... It doesn't feel like a job because I enjoy doing it, no, but it's like it. <laughs> as much work as a, as a job. Uh, I so appreciate you guys for making me smile. God bless. Well, I'm happy to do so. Mm -hmm. uh, the lighting keeps on fading in and out. Yeah, it's yeah I don't iPad. know why it does that. You guys got real maple syrup in New York? Well, yeah, we have real maple syrup, but we don't never use real maple syrup. <laughs> I'm using Pearl Milling, the Pearl Milling Company, AKA original, light. That used to be called a different company. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. Well, it's called Pearl Willing now. Pearl Milling, not Willing. I, listen, if we go down the syrup aisle, there's fancy bottles of syrup. We never get them, though. I'm having a horrible day. Me too, Stephanie. You want to share what's going on with you? I'm sorry, girl. Mm. Ever wrestled the Dudley boys? No. Thank you, Shit Show. Actually, Chris, I did wrestle Spike Dudley, but Bubba and Devon, no. <clears throat> you are correct. Ding, ding, you win. No, no, no. <sighs> Just no sugar-free for Jamie? Not no more. <laughs> Hungry Jamie learned his lesson with the sugar-free syrup. <laughs> you guys remember the night I ate? I, 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 I killed... the whole bottle. Yeah. Hi, Ashley. Hello, Ashley. How are you, girl? I'll never do Hello, that again. Andrew. I haven't had sugar-free syrup since then. Since then. <laughs> did you see the... Did you see the CM Punk and John Moxley match? Yes, I did. All three minutes of it. Made me sick. Oh, it, it messed my stomach up the next day. Yes, it did. And that, remember, she, she put in LOL. Oh, yeah. That did not sit well with you at all. A lot of those sugar-free things come with, like, little, like, warnings. Have you like, been eating sugar-free syrup? Really small writing, but some brands will say they have a laxative effect. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Aries. Hello, Megan. Did you did you hear Jake Paul is going to fight Anderson Silva? I did not. No. I would I would I would I would order that fight. You know, I think I I think a lot of people would. Do you like Jello? Hello, Megan. I don't eat it a lot. Listen, the last time I had Jello, it was Jello shots that my sister made in Florida, and yeah, they were good. But that's the last time I had Jello. Yes, yeah, she did. You had Jello shots. October 29th. I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. And you know what the crazy thing is? I like Jake Paul. I like both of those guys. Constipated. Just jug a bottle of sugar-free syrup. No. <laughs> Annette, 
pretty much a net. That's all you need. I'll tell you. Let me Laxative tell you. effect. I know I, <laughs> I, I shared the, that experience the next day. But the sharp pains that would hit me as I'm walking <laughs> is what killed me. I could deal with having to go to the bathroom throughout the but day. But it was the cramping and everything It was else. the cramping. I would be walking and it would... <laughs> and out of nowhere, it would feel like I'm getting stabbed in the stomach. And I have, I, I, would, I would have to stop. I'm working. I'm working. And then I would just have to stop and crouch over. And it's like, oh, you know, people, random people looking at me like, <laughs> just like, looking at me like, did he just mess himself? <laughs> and it wasn't the case. I was just in so much pain. Uh, yeah, the cramping is bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the cramping is bad when you eat too much of something you shouldn't have eaten. We're getting the heat babe this weekend? Good. I once had a massive action, evacuation after too many sugar-free gummy bears. <laughs> yeah, you know, I heard that. Rose, I heard I heard about the sugar free gummy bear thing. Are they fighting me? No, they were talking. Okay. I heard about the sugar free gummy bear thing. Like they just like people just kept eating the sugar free gummy bears and then all of a sudden it was just like, oh I say try to eat. Hi Miss Lauren. Why do you have an ankle monitor Hello, on? Hello Miss Lauren. Um, profession. I'm not listen. I don't get this a lot anymore. I haven't got this in a long time, so I don't mind not only telling you, but showing you what it is. It's um, it's just an ankle accessory that matches my headbands that I make. See? And then behind it, is this something that's a strap. No, no beep, beep, beep. Yeah, no beep, beep. I got 35 seconds, so let me put this back on. <laughs> What's up, Kenny? <laughs> Something started making a noise when I did take it off. <laughs> yes, I don't know what it was either. Yeah. Did you hurt your eye? Uh, well, no. But I, yes, I, I smashed my face yesterday at the park playing with my kids. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> hey bro, I haven't seen you 35 in a while. seconds, exactly. Do you still transport giraffes? What? Somebody said, I haven't talked to you in a while. Do you still transport your ass? No. 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 No more giraffe transporting. Uh, hello, Brenda. Brendan? Brendola? The cops come storm it in. Can you imagine? Swat. Put your monitor back on. <laughs> What's up, Soul's mom? <laughs> no, it'll just be his parole officer. Thank you very in. much. Why'd you take it off? <laughs> Where are you going? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The best part is when, like, uh, when I'm running, sometimes there'll be like a cop chase, and I'll get lucky enough to be running, and there'll be cops behind me. And that's the night where I'm usually I'll film a video to respond to a, a ankle accessory comment. That's happened a couple times. You want a headband with palm trees, please? Oh, he has plenty. He's I, made many headbands with palm trees. Just Reds, what's up? I have like six palm tree headbands. Thank you, Dark Side, darling. Uh, feel better, Jamie. Thank you, Rose. Hope I'm hoping I'm feeling better tomorrow. If not tomorrow, hopefully this weekend. How long does a how long does a swollen face take to heal? Let's let's like let's look at. You guys can tell I'm, my my face is swollen, right? Like, my nose don't look right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, it's really swollen on this side. Yeah. It looks like I have double the size of and my nose. And even, like, this, the part of your eyes really swollen. Like, up in here. Yeah. I... <laughs> Probation officer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I swear I didn't hit him. So I'm so... me. I was at the gym. I have an alibi. I'm surprised that <laughs> I got no color. I'm surprised, like... I didn't get black and blue. Um, it's not gonna happen the day. You're gonna, you might see something tomorrow or the next day. Yes, you can see it right away. Marie can tell. So can Annette. You can see the swollenness, but there's no see, discoloration. No. <clears throat> How 
How long does Murray? How long do you think Swollen is going to take to go down? Because it's it's crazy how it alters your it alters the way you look. Mm-hmm. You have to keep putting ice on it for it to go down. Yeah, it hurts when I touch it. Oh, I understand that, but if you want the swelling to go down, you should put ice on it. Mm, three to four days for the swelling to go down. I just, I just don't want it to hurt anymore because if I open my mouth mm-hmm. wide enough to take a bite, it hurts. And the bad thing is, if I have an itch, just itching it, I feel it right away. Hello, Big Meg. Mm. You didn't notice? You didn't notice Jamie's a little swollen? Well, he decided to ninja roll. Word on the street is Khaki actually smacked him with a cast iron skillet in his sleep. Yeah, well. I was at the gym, John. I have an alibi. I'm on camera at the gym. So you can't blame me. <laughs> but nice try. <laughs> um, yeah. No, I was playing with my kids and I tried to. We were playing zombie. And I tried rolling under a bench. Now, because my equilibrium is off, I miss. I misjudged. I misjudged how much room I had to go under the to, the to the bench, and when I tried to roll quickly as they were running after me, uh, before you know it, it lights out, and I heard crack, you know, crunch, and it hurt like hell. And then I got two little monkeys jumping on me, biting me, pretending like they're zombies. Yeah. Bring Jamie to Staten Island Hospital, and we can be roommates. You can be roommates. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would be funny. Uh, what if the you cameras? Yeah, Marie could stream from your from your um, hospital room. Yeah. <laughs> hey, if I, hey, if and I'll I, just be sitting here eating with Jamie and Marie. <laughs> didn't you fall down the stairs a few years ago? Yeah. Yeah. Remember that? <laughs> Many times. I, I uploaded that. I That was camera footage from the house. You sound a bit stuffy. Can you breathe through your nose? I could breathe, yeah. Just swollen and it hurts. <clears throat> yeah, I remember when we fell down the stairs. That was bad. I fell down those stairs. I fell down those stairs. I, I saw you fall down the basement stairs. I found I fell down the basement stairs right before I went to go for my run. Scraped up my whole arm. He literally went down on his knees <laughs> and me. slid down every step. And those stairs are not forgiving. They're all just straight wood. There's no carpet. There's no nothing. It's yeah. just straight wood. Dang, you're clumsy. Yeah, yeah, you could say that. <clears throat> he slipped on a dog toy on Christmas. Uh-huh. Spilled his coffee and fell on the floor. <laughs> I thought wrestling was over for you. <laughs> you should post the footage. I posted the footage of me falling down the mm-hmm. stairs when it happened a couple years ago. I yeah, po- that was a while ago. Yeah. Uh, you're welcome, Melanie. Thank you for making me run again. I'm happy that you're out there doing it. <clears throat> do you wear a specific type of running shoe that you recommend? I do. I um, So I use Under Armour, and the pair of shoes, I, I guys, I actually am going to be in the market for a new pair in a couple, I would say another month or so, um, and I don't know, I'm going to probably, probably stick with Under Armour, but I might give something else a shot. Yeah, Marie, I... <laughs> you can't get my shoes no more. They don't make them. Maria, I still laugh about it. I know it sounds bad. I'm laughing at Jimmy falling down the stairs, but like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sol's mom goes, what about the time you fell in the river? <laughs> that too, Sol's mom. I still laugh about the part when Jimmy fell down the stairs. Just because it was just so... I know he was hurt, but we all laugh about it now. Yeah. It was like he was walking and all of a sudden his body just turned to a board and he was like, poof. I was filming a video. 
I was filming a video on on my run, <coughs> and because the wind was so heavy, I turned around, so I was going against the wind. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. So I was going with the wind, and you could this, the phone can pick up what I'm saying, and I didn't realize there was a damn bench, and then <laughs> I crashed into the bench. <laughs> Phone went into the bay, and then I had to jump in the bay to get it. Annette, how many running shoes do you go through per year? So I rotate. I've got a whole bunch of running shoes upstairs. I got like seven pairs of running shoes. Um, at my highest, when I was running the most, I was getting a new pair of running shoes like every two months. I will never forget that phone call. I'll never forget that feeling of jumping in the cold bay in the middle of the winter. You need to come get me. And the only reason, the only reason I got that phone was because I had the nightlight on because I was filming and luckily the phone was facing up so it, I saw the light. Hello Summer Maze, how are you girl? Uh, so I had, I had French toast sticks and khakis eating chicken and salad and Quest chips. And Quest chips, but they're gone now. Can't make this shit up with me, I swear. I guess, uh, Ashley, I guess, you know, yeah, I think um, clumsy is, 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 is okay to say. Did you get sick from that? No, he didn't get sick. No. I feel like that's an old wives tale. When you go outside wet and went cold out. Well, if I would have... You're going to get sick. I feel like that's an old wives tale. If I were to continue... The rest of my run, I probably would have gotten sick, but Kaki was picking me up within yeah. 10 minutes. I had just gotten out of the shower. Yeah. It was, this was in, like, what, January? Mm-hmm. <laughs> January, I would say, was swimming in the damn bay. I said to you, you're lucky there wasn't any ice. I'm lucky I didn't crack my head on the bench and knock myself out. That, too. And then fall in the water. <sighs> but once you realize you no one was hurt, yeah, yeah, it was bad. That's why if I'm gone longer than an hour, Kaki usually calls me. Yeah. Thank you, Fallen Warrior. Um, we don't do we don't do politics in here. Yeah, no, we don't talk about politics. Mm -mm. Happy thoughts only. Do you know what I can I'm tell crying. you? Those are the best laughs. Let me tell you this. And no one has hurt yet. This is a story. The first, my first time I did um, 15 miles, I was hurting. And I, I wasn't doing a lot of recording my runs back then. And I was coming, I was just about to finish the 15 miles and I felt really, really good. And I'm like, I could probably go longer. And this road I was running on, it was one of those sidewalks where the, it was not even, and it kept on, it was like layers to it. I didn't realize it. And I ran right into it. And then I didn't even, I don't even remember falling. I just remember hearing crunching on my headphones and I was ass over tea kettle, rolled up. Do you remember that? Yeah. My first 15 miler. Hello, what? Chrissy. <laughs> oh, it's cute. Jack gives you an hour. My wife tracks me on phone. Like Mike Meyer, she will just show up. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I don't do that. No. Like if he's not home within an hour, because normally his runs usually like 45 minutes to an hour, like somewhere in there. Like if it's more not, than an hour. Lately, it's a lot shorter. Well, yeah, lately it's been a lot shorter. But like if it's more than an hour, yeah, I'll give him a call. Just to make sure he's okay. Make sure nobody kidnapped him. Or I didn't fall. Speaking of which, it's gonna be getting darker early. We gotta get those head those headlamps for me again. I had headlamps, rechargeable ones. What'd you do with them? Thank you, Melanie. I don't know. You know, uh, Melanie, uh, some of you guys say that and it makes me feel great. Uh, Jamie, the same thing happened to you, what, falling? You just or, like or, or, run it, chipping over the sidewalk because it's uneven. That hurt. And you hear, you just hear nothing but headphones crunching. It... 
Oh, I've literally tripped over like the teeniest, tiniest lip, like in the sidewalk, like when I was running. Yeah, I've fallen a couple times. It's. it's I've not... never fall. I've never fallen, but have I tripped? Yeah, never fall. Who do you listen to when you run? Um, so this this past week I've been listening to a lot of Kobe Bryant stuff, a lot of his motivational. Um, uh, you know, speeches. Oh, thank you, Ch Chris, Chrissy. Thank you, Chrissy. It um, it all honestly, it all depends on how I'm feeling. If if my body's feeling like it's ready to rock, I'll put something on that's fast. If I'm if I'm like feeling down and out and just want to take an easy, you know, easy run, I'll I'll listen to. Uh, a little bit of like Celine Dion or a podcast. Oh, thank you, Melanie. Thank you, bro. Uh, if I'm planning on a long run, <coughs> it's gonna be a podcast. He was Tina. amazing, dude. I was very lucky. That you knew Kobe personally. I had no idea how he was until after he passed away. No idea how, because I was. I'm not a big. I'm not a big basketball fan. I had no idea of how much of a hard worker and how dedicated he was. Yeah, I couldn't do a podcast when I run either. It has to be music. It has to be music. True story. He's probably my most favorite person to listen to, and there's, you know, not a whole lot with length. That you can that I can get it that I can listen to. You can't do a podcast. No, I well, can't either. If you're gonna do a long run and you're gonna pace yourself, podcast works really well. Get yourself into a story before you know it. Your run is over with. <laughs> yes, sir. I used to talk to him. I used to take, take him to practice, to practice daily. daily when he would land. I knew the pilot as well. Damn, that's pretty. That's pretty cool. That's very cool. Is that X Pac? No. No, no, no. You would love David Goggins? I I do love David Goggins. Such an amazing man. Sand ending. Yeah. Yep. I remember where we were when we found out that, that helicopter crash happened. We were going to oh, take yeah. the, the kids to a, a, a Park. Yeah, we were taking and, um, out. And uh, that's when we found out. Uh, please buy his books. Who? Goggins? Audio. Such an amazing. Yeah. Uh, wow, big You guys finally food. finished. Yes, we did. We finished all our food. Yay! <laughs> Go to bed. Go to set up my classroom tomorrow. Vacation is over. <laughs> Vacay is over. Have yes, fun. mom. <laughs> have, fun, have fun setting up. Actually, Jamie, you look way better than X Pac. Right now. No offense to him, but he does look very old. Yeah. Thank you. I like X Pac. I just don't. I just don't think I look like him. Oh, Kobe Bryant books. I didn't know. He, I didn't know he had them. Yeah, I thought that's what you knew. What she meant. David Goggins books. I thought it, the, uh, <clears throat> is what I thought she meant. Oh. Very sad day. The weather was bad that day. Well, yeah, you're in California, Annette. <laughs> he, he lost most of his awesome hair. Oh, X Pac, yeah. Well, he got the he 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 got the the sides buzz, which you know. Mamba, Mamba mentality is a great one. I'm gonna look into that. And, uh, I wonder if they have the audio version because that will. That yeah, you'll will, listen to it. I'll, I'll listen. To, I'm not a big reader. I don't. I don't like to read. I love to read. I'll listen, I just don't have the time to do it. I'll listen to an audio book, but <clears throat> to sit there and, and and read, you're not balding, right, Jamie? You want me to take my headband off? I got my hair. I mean, no. I mean, He's I'm. He's not bald. I'm thick. Listen, I'm. 
I wouldn't say I'm bold, but I'll take my my, my, uh, my headband off. When playoffs come around, I've never, I actually have to take my headband off because I am getting kind of, uh, my head hurts. Uh, okay, you two, good night. All right, Ruthie, you have a good night, girl. Mwah. Thank you for stopping in. When playoffs night come night, around, girl. I've never seen someone so focused. I bet. That's like the cool, I love people like that. I love people that are, that take what they do very serious and dedicate and hard workers. their life and they dedicate everything they do, you know, to it. And like I said, I had no idea Kobe Bryant was like that. Oh, good night, Melanie. Mwah. Love you, girl. Night night. <sighs> oh my God. Yeah, I might not wear a headband at all tomorrow. No? I don't think so because it kind of, because of how my uh, how my head feels and it's swollen, I'm um, constantly getting itchy and when I get itchy... When you itch it, it hurts. Yeah. Are right, you ready for bed, Chief? Yes. All right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for hanging out with us. Uh, no, Jimmy's here, except for life. Oh, I wouldn't say that for <laughs> more. I got... <laughs> It's eventually it's gonna I already got the macho man thing going. Jamie tie your hair in a in a <coughs> oh, don't tie no I don't. I don't. Night night you too. Night night Dennis. Yeah, good night guys. Marie, try to get some I know you're not gonna yeah, be able Marie, to get some, sleep, get some sleep, but try to get some sleep. Relax. Ugh. I know it's probably hard, but Yeah. Good night guys. Have a good night, guys. One Kagi, look into uh, bef uh, before we get done. Look into the um, if Kobe's.